What is going on guys welcome back to another video i hope you are having an amazing day and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at a small little update of my previous video which would be the led notification slash indicators for the galaxy s10 s10 e or the s10 plus that video kind of did pretty well like it has been a year that any of my video had actually gone popular and in three weeks it almost got like 200k views which was just amazing and many people shed the light of so many possibilities and things about the galaxy s10 plus that i had to make this video again so many people actually tweeted samsung about this thing that they actually want an indicator and yep they shouldn't actually shy about this camera cutout and they should actually provide a very nice cutout for it well it's pretty weird that samsung actually listened this time well we also contact samsung and tried our best to convince them and stuff but they just tweeted it would be coming soon but we didn't expect anything until android q because samsung galaxy s10 plus would not be getting any kind of major ui changes or major ui features anytime soon like not until android q at all yes it's been getting some major updates through the camera and stuff like its stability on the snapdragon processors then again the fingerprint scanner speed now the area feels like much more better as you can see it's not the fastest thing to be honest like the animation is still like crap but the speed of it like i could just tap it nope like i could just tap it there you go it's extremely quick when compared to the traditional optical sensors but now you can officially get a camera cutout for notifications through your normal settings so again there were many points that the previous app that i showed you guys weren't actually the best option cause privacy well many of the american audience that actually watched the video were very concerned about privacy well that's not a thing that we care about india or any kind of another country those americans are yep uh, they are weird but still their concerns about the privacy were much more important so i'm not going to tell any kind of third party app for notifications this is the official way that you can get it so for example you have to just now download an app called age lighting plus which was just updated yesterday like the april 15th here you go age lighting plus and yes of course you can access it through your settings too because it's provided by samsung this is an official thing it's not like an update but yeah it is a good lock feature so you can just side load the app like a normal apk install it and then just uh, go to edge screen and sorry if i'm just going too fast this is just my accent sorry for that but if you go to the edge lighting this is your normal features if you go to the style there you go if you go to effects you will now have more effects rather than having just these things like they do pretty good not dull to be honest but you get this one then this one was my favorite when i previously owned the galaxy note 9 like it just looks amazing then again we have this animation looks pretty cool then this one working amazing on android pie but you don't get any kind of color options for it and finally now we have eclipse yeah and that's actually the cutout blinking for you and this is really good addition by samsung that they are actually providing an official solution for it so your privacy isn't concerned at all no kind of third party app is actually gathering informations about notifications cause half of the comments were filled in that it asked for notification permissions like guys how else the app would know that there is a notification so again those who are concerned about that yep now you finally get an official solution for it now you can of course adjust the duration of it like short like long there is no option for the width of it like the another effects like if you just go to galaxy and stuff no this one doesn't even have width like the optional normal ones you have width transparency color and the duration but for the eclipse you just get your normal stuff like color duration and effect there is no width for it now the width is pretty good i mean it looks bit thinner on my s10 plus to be honest but for s10 e or s10 it would be good then again if you go to the color if you go to custom color you can choose colors for all of your apps now this is completely auto i haven't choose the colors for it so again the api just works perfect in gathering the color information but now you can also choose a basic color or custom color in custom color you can literally choose anything like literally anything like this one's the brightest one i really love just the white looks very good but as i have like a prism blue color as you can see these are not scratches trust me it's a bit dusty sorry uh, okay i just have to go now back over there this one looks just great over here a light bluish one and it also has some amazing feature called by text so it actually detects some text so for example if you have something like from your boss or stuff so you can just select the boss over here and just add that text over here why didn't add that's weird done there you go it added boss now whenever you get any kind of message by word name boss like literally select any color for it and it will glow differently rather than just ignoring the app color which is again a great option to be honest but this doesn't have any support for battery indication now battery indication is not a huge deal for me but i again found another very good optimized app for it which would be arc lighting now 
पर्सनली आई डोंट नीड इट बट फॉर दोज हू नीड अ बैटरी इंडिकेटर दिस इज एन अमेजिंग चॉइस नो दिस एप डजेंट नीड एनी काइंड ऑफ नोटिफिकेशन एक्सेस इन ऑर्डर टू शो जस्ट द बैटरी इंडिकेशन कॉज दैट डजेंट नीड इट जस्ट द एप ओवर ले सो यू कैन लिटरली टर्न इट ऑन इफ यू गो टू कट आउट सेटिंग्स यू कैन लिटरली सेट एनी थिंग यू कैन जस्ट हैव इट ग्लोइंग देन अगेन जस्ट अ शार्प कट आउट देन अगेन just pretty much all the stuff like related to the color you can just choose it but this app is not bloated as the previous one it's much more easier on your eyes to just look at all the features but you can also go to the experimental and turn on always on and yep it's not a like poor overlay or something it just really works perfect like i can just demo it to you guys in a minute but if you go to the indicators here you do get a notification indicator those who aren't concerned about their privacy so you can just always turn it on and now it asks the option for accessing the notifications which is a very good option by the developer very good move over there you have animation speed and stuff pretty good over there you can also add some overheat indicator if you are playing pubg for hours very great option again and now if you just want to see it working on the always on display here you go turned my phone off there you go the indicator is already working now as you can see over here it just adjusted directly to the always on display's auto brightness which is again like how developer did it i don't know but it just works great it's extremely optimized then again i can just unlock as you can see close bright over there there you go and now if we just lock it back there you go it's now much more brighter which is like i seriously don't know how developers are doing this but just amazing like there is no root or any kind of accessible options needed over here just accessibility setting and yeah that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching this quick little update video of my previous one i hope you guys enjoyed if you want more content of the galaxy s10 plus like i am literally working for the gcam from pixel 3 for this thing like the s10 continuously so if you want any updates on that just follow me on instagram again thanks for watching see you guys in the next one peace